G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a Galax GTX 1060 6 gig model, and I just want to replace the thermal paste. Hopefully, I can just undo these four brackets and have this top half come off. I have to undo a couple more here. But let's see what's required. Hopefully, I can just twist and release. Like that. Bingo! And here we see how extremely dry thermal paste. Almost looks non existent. So I'll put some isopropyl alcohol on there. Wipe that up. It's very dry and very brittle. Really, it's been a while since I've seen a GTX 1060. I'm pretty certain this is a 1060, this one. Maybe a, I don't think it's a super. I don't think they released 1060 supers. They became the 1660. And then the 1660 super. I'm going by the silicon number, GP106400A1, we are a 1060. So I'd say simply, one of the symptoms it was getting was it would, this machine would crash playing Civ 5 after about 20 minutes. And it did have a fair bit of dust buildup on it. But also the dust buildup and the lack of or lack of good quality thermal paste. Probably get it crashing like it has been. Let's replace that thermal paste. I'm just gonna use some deep cool Z5, relatively inexpensive stuff. In this particular one I usually get enough to do four or five CPUs and GPUs. See that paste down. There's very little here, that's for sure. And no matter what I do here, it will be wrong to the internet. Do you want to make sure that I do cover all of it? Uh, with this angle, it's not very good to do. There we go. I want to make sure that I'm covering all of it so it's not shining back at me. There we go. That's a bit straightforward. As you can see on that angle there, gives you a rough idea of what I've got. I have already given this a dust blowout. Granted, it didn't really do much down here, but I'm just going to leave that for now. Actually, now nah, let's go tackle it. That dust blowout done very little. Only more than what I've already done to it. Let's hmm, get the sticker in here. And over here too. Let's fold this over, flip it over. And I'm going to line up screw holes, push down slightly. And I should be right to put those screws back in. Just do them slightly loose. And I'll go over it again after. Okay, now I'll start tightening them up. One, two, three, four. And done. So that's been a thermal replacement on the Galax GTX 1066 gig. Bye.